Hello and welcome to part 2 of this topic what if analysis calculation in smart reporting I am Abhijit Teli from smart reporting development team In part 1 we have went through conceptual understanding of what if analysis we have seen one business use case and we have added parameter object in incident management view In this part we will create one report with key data points to analyze historical trend so here is a sample output of this report in a month, how many tickets were submitted? How many service desk agents has worked on it? How many tickets they were able to close? What is my closure per person? And what is my closure rate? Okay, let's get started. So I am in smart reporting. Navigate to create report. Select incident management from the list. So here we need to create a couple of calculated fields for a report. Those fields are not available out of the box. So first we'll create month name field. So month name is basically returns month name from the date part. Select submitted from the list. And click on OK. Save this variable. Next we'll create month number. So month number field will only need it for sorting purpose. You can see it shortly in next demo. Again select submitted from the list and save it. Now third, we will create close ticket variable. So close ticket variable, the formula would, would be case when status in list resolved or closed, then give me the incident ID. And at the top level, we'll count that incident ID. And again, we need to multiply that close ticket value with 1.00. The value essentially remains same, but we need that 1.00 multiplication because we are going to use this calculated field for further calculation like percentage and closure rate if we don't give it 1.00 multiplication then it will not give me the result in fractional digit so it will round up the value so the value will not be accurate so we need to multiply that third we will create service desk agents so that is essentially the distinct count of assignees those are worked on the tickets so formula will be count distinct assignee and again multiplication with 1.00 validate the formula and save it now third variable and last will create closure per person so the formula would be the number of tickets closed in my system divided by how many services agents has worked on it so it will give me the closure per person validate the formula and save it so we are done with calculations uh, we have all the key data points available for the report before creating the report I need to put submit date filter I need data in this report for one year only so I'll put submit date which will restrict data for one year so I put the submit date as 2013 now we'll pull month name in the report section as you can see it will give me the result set in alphabetic order not in chronological order so if i put month number as my first column besides month name so it will sort according to the month number and we can hide this column because we don't want it to display on our report so that is another trick to sort month names now from the incident details section we will pull number of incidents that will show me how many tickets were submitted the second column will pull closed tickets that will show me how many tickets were closed then we'll pull service desk agents that will show me how many agents were worked on this ticket and then we'll pull closure per person okay so let me quickly remove a couple of decimal places unnecessary decimal places from the report you can remove it like you know in the format section you can just put zero in decimal places now these are my number of incidents but this is on a monthly basis now from the drop down go to totals and select average that will give me the average number of tickets submitted in a year i put the average function for all now we need to calculate closure rate of this ticket 
Essentially, I can create another calculated field which will give me the closure rate. But it's always best practice to calculate percentage on cached data. So we have a couple of options available to calculate such percentage on cached data. I would like to show you that. So pull close ticket field into the report section and essentially what we are doing we are dividing close ticket value with number of incidents submitted and multiplying by 100 so in advanced function we can achieve that so from the drop down select advanced functions and search for percentage against column so you need to provide a column against which you are calculating percentage in our case it's number of incidents and click on save that will give me the percentage of closure this is the final output of my report if you read this report what my system tells is on an average 61 tickets gets logged into the system and out of 61 25 tickets are getting closed i have eight service disk agents consistently working on those tickets and by this rate i have 3.10 closure per person rate right and my closure percentage is 41.84 right so what if i add three more service agents and they work with the same efficiency then what would be my closure rate if i get the same number of ticket volume in next year so that calculation we will cover in next part of this topic i hope you find this video useful thank you for taking time and watching this video